All right, Shalom. It's Karab Karab. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that rule well. And greetings and Barak of thumb to all you sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that are pushing the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risking your lives to do so. Okay. Um, I want to get into a quick lesson. I'm going to call this um, Who's the Boss? Okay. Or, or Who's in Charge, man? Okay. Because, uh, you know, of course, non-believers, they don't understand, you know, who's really running things. Of course, the nations, the heathens, they don't truly understand. They have their own gods, okay? But our book is is the 100% the, the truth of, of what's going on in the world and who the Heavenly Father is and who His Son is, okay? And uh, it, it's plain. Uh, Most High makes it plain, uh, plain that He is in control of everything, okay? And, um... It's, it's really not uh, the majority of the people our nation to to grasp that and it's uh, it's not really uh, you know expected for the nations to understand it but the beauty of the most high is everybody will understand and witness it okay but you know you either witness it and you either get it now and get an understanding of it now through these scriptures or you, you see him, uh, uh, you actually witness his wrath and fury, okay? And that's what we're trying to warn our people against. Uh, few were here, most won't, okay? So, um, like I say, I just want to bring out a few scriptures on, you know, uh, letting know who, who who's setting these rulers up, who who's setting up kings, who's causing catastrophes and, 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 and causing destruction, man. It's the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh, uh, via uh, Bahashem. His son, Yahweh Shai, man, who the world ignorantly calls God and um, Jesus. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, I start with Psalms. Salaki. This is the book of Psalms. Uh, let's start with the, one second, bear with me. This is Psalm 75. Uh, we we'll start at five. No, I'll start at four. This is Psalm 75 and four. I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly. And to the wicked, lift not up the horn. And what does the horn represent? Exaltation, man. And he's saying to the fools, which are the other nations, and the wicked, which is the so-called white man, okay? Lift not up, it says, uh, and to the wicked, lift not up by the horn. Verse 5, lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with the stiff neck. And that's exactly what the heathens have done, man. Starting with the so-called white man on down. They have lifted up their the, uh, the head. Uh, Salakia. They have, um, let me read that again. It says, lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. And that's what you're seeing. Even with this. This uh, goddamn gook, uh, uh, Chim, uh, Kim Jong-un, man. He's speaking on high. He's like, look, hey, like the scriptures say, let the uh, weak say that they are mighty. He's saying that he's going to destroy America, man. Okay? He's lifting up the horn. Now, that's part of prophecy, but you ain't going to do shit. It's the most high working through you, man. That's why you know it's spiritual, because he's really... He's ready to uh, martyr his whole country, you know, that whole landmass. If North Korea and South Korea get into a conflict, they'll obliterate each other, man, okay? So that's how you know it's of the Heavenly Father, okay? So it says, uh, verse 6, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Verse 7, But the Most High is the judge. He put it down one and set up, up another. Verse 8, for in the hand of Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth it out of the pour it out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. Okay. So basically, look. It says the Most High is the judge. He put it down and, and set up up another. And that's going back uh, all the way through uh, ancient history, man. With whether it be the Egyptians, the Babylonians. The, uh, the Assyrians, you know, the Middle Persians, the Most High took one out and set up another. The, so that 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 uh 
that gives you a full history lesson on how these kingdoms rose and fell. The Most High did it, okay? Um, this is, uh, let's do, let's do Daniel. Yeah, the book of Daniel chapter 4, and we'll start at uh, 17. It said, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the, de and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know. Okay? Because that's what the Most High is all about. He's about making believers, okay? And he sent his prophets out to warn the people and to tell the people, look, hey, this uh, our, our intent is that the living may know that Yahweh, he is, man. He exists. And he is very angry with the inhabitants of the earth and he's coming down with great wrath, okay? And he controls everything, okay? So it says, uh, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay? So every kingdom that was set up, uh, so-called set up by men, who's ruling in it? <laughs> the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. He's ruling in the kingdom of men. He is the Lord of hosts. He is uh, uh, Lord of Sabaoth, which means the Lord of armies, man. The Most High controls every single army on the earth, alluded to uh, Exodus 15 and 3. The Most High is a man of war, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is his name. It's plain, man. It's a, hey, it's uh, Old Testament, New Testament, man. But you know, uh, people, people are hard headed, you know. So they got to find out the hard way. But the answer's all in here. It tells you plainly, okay. But like most people, they got to believe it to see. Uh, they got to see it to believe it, which means they are faithless and uh, reprobates. So you're gonna find out very soon. It says. Uh, let me read that again. Verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Who are the watchers? The prophets. Uh, the men that you see on the highways and hedges, sighing and crying, and, and professing and blowing the trumpet, saying, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai is on the way with his angels to not to talk to anybody, not to hand out cupcakes and flowers, to act absolutely obliterate the inhabitants of the earth, man. Those who don't have that mark of exemption. Okay? And it says. And the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomever he will and set up over it the bases of men. OK, and right now we're actually uh, seeing that And every, you know, all of the men that ruled the earth were, were uh, base base men. But the basis of men is uh, Esau, the so-called white man. And he's ruling right now. And the reason he's giving it over to them is because Israel, uh, who are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, and those that go back to that lineage, we didn't want to rule the world. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't want to rule the universe under the righteous power of the heaven. Why? Because we did everything contrary to what he told us. So guess what? He rules in the kingdom of men, meaning he ruled in our kingdom as well. And look, you know, because of offenses, the the, the, the kingdom was translated from one to another. Okay, but now the reality is in the hope and the, in the uh, glory and the gospel is that it's time to restore this kingdom back to uh, Israel. Okay, and it, it is going to happen, whether a person believes it or not. Okay, and let's stay let's stay right here in Daniel. Let's go to uh, this is chapter two, Daniel's second chapter. We start at twenty. It says Daniel answered and said. Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Okay? Wisdom and might are his. So, the, all the understandings we grasp, they come from the Heavenly Father. You know? Uh, might, all the might that you see on the earth, that all these missiles and nuclear missiles and, and, and army men, you know, because it said, we said earlier, he's the Lord of hosts. All that might that is of the most high. <laughs> okay? And he's like, the, the word God goes back to Theos. And Theos comes from uh, a theater. The most high is theatrical. And that's what he's, he's planning. He's planning the last scene of, uh, of this theatrical, uh, 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 you know, uh, show of theatrics, so to speak. Okay? And it says, um, it says, and he changeth the times 
and the seasons, he removeth kings. Okay? He removeth kings. So every king that's been has been removed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Not by uh uh uh, uh because uh Antiochus uh, or or uh, Alexander the Greek was just that powerful and he took down um uh, uh the Middle Persians. No. The most high took theirs down and set the set up the bases of men. Okay? It says uh he removeth kings and set up, up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Okay? And that's beautiful because that's what we're coming into. He's, he's going to remove the kings that are sitting on the thrones now. All of them. Every last one of them. And the one that's sitting at the top is the so-called white man. And all his minions up under him, meaning all the other nations. Okay? That's why it's, it says in uh, Apocrypha, if I'm not mistaken, that Yahweh Shai is going to come and take all their crowns, man, and put them on his head. And that's 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 what's about to happen. And the person, in the, the, the entity that's responsible for that is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? And he's going to use Yahweh Shai, his son, the angels, and the, and the 144,000 men, which will make up his army, okay? But ultimately... It's all through him. Why? Because he's the Lord of, of hosts. And the elect men of the nation of Israel are his specific army, along with the angels in Yahweh Shah. Okay? But hey, just a quick lesson on who's the boss, who's in control. That's Yahweh. Okay? And with that, I want to say uh Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah, uh Barakathon, Shalom.